Hi and thanks so much for joining me today we are talking about this product by Charlotte Tilbury. It is her Hollywood Flawless Filter and it is in the shade 5. If you want to see the trying you can go to the timestamp right here but I'm going to talk about it just for a little bit. It's a customizable complexion booster with the versatility of a primer, the megawatt glow of a highlighter, and the perfecting properties of your favorite digital filter. Whenever they talk about filters it's kind of interesting to me because I love the Hourglass products. I'm like, Hourglass also has the Veil Retouching Fluid right here, uh, which acts as a filter. So I didn't know if I really needed this. And honestly, I went to Nordstrom to the last couple days of their sale and they didn't have anything that I wanted. So I thought, well, I'm just going to pick this up because I was curious about it. Someone else asked me about it and I thought I would give it a try. I thought it was a little redundant with the Hourglass products I already have, but I don't have anything for all over my face. And I was also concerned that this might look a little bit like Tin Man-ish. Uh, just a little bit too uh, glisteny or glowy, especially for the center, but I thought I wanted to give it a try. It says the ingredients help to soft focus, illuminate skin, and make lines and pores appear smoother. And I like that about it because in the last couple of videos I've talked about how my pores are looking a bit enlarged in the summer and they're not usually like that. So I'm not sure what's happening, but I think the weather has something to do with it. And also, I don't know, they just might be getting more pronounced. It's also, it says it was born on the red carpet inspired by technology for real life in real time that looks amazing on screen or off. It's smoothing airbrush polymers roll over your complexion for a poreless looking creamy finish. Plus the oil is a lightweight moisturizing oil that reflects and adds light to your face where you need it. Finely milled powder soft focus makes lines and pores appear smoother which means it only ever looks as amazing in real life as it does on camera. Ideal for super starlit skin when you want a subtle glow or a megawatt complexion. All those things hit the mark in terms of what I'm looking for, the glow, the smoothing out of the skin surface. I like that it looks good in real life and on camera. Just having glowy skin is what I really like. But like I said, the only thing that was deterring me is I didn't want it to be too, too glowy. But you can always address that with powder. So when I got home, I, we got home late that night, but the next morning I put it on right away before I even washed my face because I wanted to see what it looked like and I was amazed at how well the shade complemented my skin. Five is perfect for me. It is like one of the best color matches for something like this type of product where it's like a little bit of coverage um, because it's nice and warm. I'm going to show you a quick cutaway right now of application, what it's like and how I apply it. I just take the doe foot applicator and I just put it on the center of my face to begin with because that's where most of the discoloration is and that's where I'm looking for that filtered look and I just use my fingers and I sweep it outwards and really try and keep most of the product in the center of my face though again to use as a filter and it just brings a really nice tone like a color adjustment to your face because it has that nice peachiness it, I don't want to say orange but Someone commented once that my skin looked um, too orange, my bronzer looks too orange, but actually I do tan more of like an orangey shade than um, a cool bronze shade. So it is a bit warmer and I like that this complements that tan color because I really try and stay out of the sun. As you can see, it just puts a really nice layer on. It's very lightweight feeling. It doesn't feel oily. I know that word oil might and kind of deter people but it feels really nice on the skin and I did finish up with some other products including the hourglass veil retouching fluids on those darker areas and of course I finished up with more products on my face uh, and I did film that so if you want to see the full face tutorial that is coming next week but as for this product I love it and I am actually a little surprised I didn't buy it earlier because it like I said it hits all of those marks that I'm looking for in terms of looking like really beautiful skin. I think that's my main goal when it comes to cosmetics is having that skin like look about my makeup. I think this is going to add to those tools in terms of presenting the most beautiful looking skin possible and I'm really happy about it. This color like I said great color match if you are like me I would recommend this color if you tan a little bit more warm. This is a great one. Yeah I'm sad I didn't find this earlier, but I'm glad I found it now. So if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, if you want to know if I recommend it, yes, I recommend it. Really beautiful product. Um, and I actually, you can see 
the exterior of my face because I only added just some concealer to my face today. So um, in terms of what else is on there covering it, I've got a little bit of powder and um, actually there's no powder on the edges at all. There's just a little bit of cream bronzer and some highlight, but I didn't um, powder the exterior. So if you're wondering how much makeup really I added onto that, it's not much in terms of foundation. I don't have foundation. I used my Tom Ford waterproof foundation concealer as concealer and then some concealer under my eyes and that's it. So if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Hi, thanks so much for, hi. Well, veil retouching, what is it called? It's right here. They also have a that fluid one, the veil retouching fluid. Oh my gosh, where is it? It's right here. It says it helps to soft focus, eliminate skin, eliminate. It says, it says its ingredients help to soft focus, eliminate skin. If you want to see the, what the heck is happening?